Hello everybody! Many of you already remember me from my Spanish lessons, my Spanish course that's been going on for over three years and at the beginning of my course I started using a camera that was not the most appropriate one so many of my students have been asking me to remake my many first lessons using a better camera, better lighting so we have a little better light and uh, so that the first lessons can be easier to read and to follow so here I am this is again our Spanish lesson number one the alphabet so this is the beginning of everything in every Western tongue, the alphabet. Those of you who are new here, maybe you still don't know that in my website you will find the index or the list of lessons where you can have the links uh, ordered by number of all our lessons. Okay, we have hundreds of lessons and you will also find the free quizzes and tests that complement our Spanish lessons. Okay, so if you'll be following my course, you will want to do the tests and the quizzes because it will be super, super helpful to practice and uh, to be able to continue learning with a stronger base. Okay, let's begin with the Spanish alphabet. So in black, in black, I've uh, written the letter, okay, each letter from the Spanish alphabet, and in green, the phonetic as, uh, as uh, correctly as I could make it up, of how you would pronounce it, reading it in English, but of course I'll help you so you can pay attention to my own pronunciation on how to pronounce each Spanish letter, and I'll help you to pronounce Spanish sounds. Okay, so I forgot to write down the Spanish alphabet in Spanish. So let me write it down for you. El alfa beto español. El alfabeto español. Okay. Or, instead of alfabeto, we can also use the word abecedario. Both words are as correct. El abecedario español or el alfabeto español. Okay? Good. A, B, C, D. E, F, G, H, I. First I'll read it fast. Later I'll focus a bit more, more on each letter so I can help you to pronounce it correctly. And I'll give you some hints on Span Spanish phonetics, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, M, N, Ñ, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, or V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, before reading it one more time, I want to give you some hints on uh, how to pronounce correctly some of the Spanish sounds. So, in Spanish from Spain, so I mean in, in most uh, most uh, parts of Spain in Europe this would be theta th, like the th in English theta th, right however in all Latin American countries and a few parts of Spain there is no sound like th, th. everything is pronounced th, like a simple s okay so, since I'm Uruguayan from South America, 
and I know how everybody else pronounces in Latin America, I can tell you that theta is pronounced zeta, okay, in the continent. In Spain it will be theta. Good. Letter V. It's called V. V. Why? To, to distinguish it from B. Okay? English is more precise than Spanish in the correct pronunciation of consonants. It has always been. Spanish, unfortunately, tends to laziness in pronunciation of consonants. What does that mean? Originally, in Spanish, B and V were distinguishable, right? B, V, same as in English. However, that uh, through laziness, people would pronounce B, 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 everything the same. So, the letter V began uh, to be called as UV, so as not to mistake it for B. Okay, and unfortunately, for many years already, officially, the sound of V and B are the same. What does that mean? That if you want to speak as in good old Spanish and be very distinctive and exact to pronounce B and V, that's perfect. I try to do that. However, if you say B, B to any of both, B and B, if you pronounce like that, it's officially accepted and it's the norm nowadays. I will finish our first class right here, just so as not to make this video too long for some of you. But in my next class, Spanish, Spanish lesson number two, I'll be teaching you some Spanish phonetics. So I will show you how to pronounce correctly most of these uh, letters in Spanish. I'll be focusing on the, the most difficult ones for English speakers. I'll show you some examples how they are pronounced in one way in such examples and some other examples on how the same letter would be pronounced in a different way. Okay, I'll speak especially of the, the Spanish R Okay, the letter Ñ, letter Z, okay, and some uh, Spanish letters that can have more than one pronunciation. So, this is going to be uh, an important base to keep on moving on uh, along our, our Spanish course. So, please stay with me into lesson number two. Thank you.